Hey guys, so we're back with another grocery haul. This one is going to be a low or low ish waist um, grocery haul. I did get a couple of non grocery things, but in general, I went to a couple different stores. I'm actually going to be inserting footage from some of the stores that I went into as I talk about these things. This is quite a lot of stuff, but this will last my family on the upwards of you know a week and a half and that's for prepping my husband's lunches and dinners prepping my daughter's lunches and dinners or sorry breakfast and lunches for both of them plus i make dinner every single night and then i eat the leftovers so i basically make you know four ish portions of dinner and um, I will eat portion number four the next day for lunch. So that's kind of just what works for our family. Um, again, I do live in a very rural area. I'm unable to go to um, grocers that have um, like butchers that let you use your own containers. Um, I don't have access to like a deli counter or anything like that where I'm at currently. Um, my Walmart is a super center, but it's very small still. Um, and also Food Basics has the best prices on a lot of stuff. Um, I get what I can in my reusable bags and I just try and you limit my um, consumption of single use products and stuff like that. I got some home stuff, I got some grocery stuff. Um, the only uh, three things that I can't or that I'm not gonna hold up and show you I bought a bag of dog food I have two dogs they eat dog food so I bought a bag of dog food I bought a bag of bird seed because we have tons of bird feeders around our property and we love feeding the birds so I bought a bag of bird seed I also bought a bag of soil because I have some plants speaking of plants um, we'll probably do um, Walmart first just to get out of the way because that has the least amount of grocery stuff. I got two plants. Um, I got an ivy plant and a cactus. So you can see them there. Aren't they gorgeous? I am so excited. So I got, I have a bag from Walmart. Um, I got four whole wheat rolls. As you can see, I got them from the um, like bakery section. We have a tiny, itsy bitsy little bakery section that has like two options of rolls and two options of bagels. Um, I got in here, I got blueberry bagels for Ella for breakfast. She'll have like a half a bagel and some fruit with some cream cheese and honey on it normally. And I also got some everything bagels for myself. I love me an everything bagel, love the cream cheese. But I'm gonna say right now, no cream cheese you buy in the store can compete to New Jersey cream cheese. And you can fight me on that, okay? All right guys, so our first stop is Bulk Barn. Bulk Barn in Canada is one of the end all be all places that you can low waste grocery shop. I have my jars, I have my bags, and let's go do it. So for Bulk Barn, again, I used a reusable bag. I got a tube of tomato paste. This is double concentrated tomato paste. And the tube is actually fully recyclable because it is metal. And I actually have something for this in a little bit. Obviously the box is recyclable. I also got two of these. They're called um, Colibri Canada reusable snack bags. They're not just for snacks, but Ella is going to be using them for snacks. So you can see they have um, a nice lining on the inside and I got her a kind of bigger one and a smaller one. 
I also got one stasher bag. Stasher bags are quite expensive. I don't know if you can buy them in bulk somewhere and save some money, but this stasher bag was almost like, it was $15 but i figured i would try it out because there's supposed to be dishwasher microwave fridge and freezer stove top and oven safe which means that i'm thinking that if i go and if i like marinate some chicken in here then i can just throw the whole bag into the oven and dinner's kind of made easy but i wanted to test it out it says it's plastic free which is weird because this definitely feels like plastic but it says it's plastic free um i got some um, this is brown rice macaroni spirals. We're gonna have mac and cheese this week upon Ella's request. I also got some beef bouillon cubes and some dark chocolate chips. I got some sweetened shredded coconut. I also got a straw cleaner thing um, because my straws uh, my straw cleaner got really gross, so I just got a new one. Um, in here are peanuts. Ty loves peanuts for a snack. So I just get him a bag of peanuts every time I go to Bull Farm. And in here are pretzels because one night for dinner, we're going to have chicken salad, sandwiches, and pretzels. So from Terra 20, um, they actually have, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but at Terra 20, there's something called Eco Bar, which is where I get a lot of my household cleaning products. Um, I get all of my household cleaning products pretty much from Terra 20 because they have stuff that is cruelty free and eco-friendly and everything like that good for the environment low waste and everything like that um this is the hard floor surface cleaner and this was my bottle and i just give it to them and then they fill it up and they bring it to the front cash and i pay for it and i think i save 75 cents every time i do that um i got some fabric softener this is the lavender fabric softener i'm not a huge fan of lavender actually this definitely smells light, which I appreciate. It's not a very heavy lavender scent. I also got this all clean natural Skeeter spray for them damn pesky Skeeters, <laughs> which I thought was cute. And I also got um, these um, biodegradable... Garbage bags. There we go. Um, I just want to try them out. I want to see how good they are. I, so I just got 13. All right, so all done in Terra 20. I definitely got a few more things than I was planning on, but overall, it's okay. They're going to last me a really long time. Um, now we're going to go to Food Basics, probably. Walmart? Walmart?
Center for Teaching Devices, Link Teaching Devices. So the next place I went was Food Basics. Food Basics is very inexpensive. Um, it's really catered towards people who are on a budget and um, I find that the selection there is pretty good. They do have some stuff that I couldn't get at, that I can't normally find at like Walmart or something like that. Um, and I find their prices to be good. I don't like their meat section. That's probably my only gripe with it. Um, and also the fact that they don't have like a bakery section where I can get like bagels and rolls and stuff. I got some cross rib roast boneless. I'm gonna cut this in half. Half of it is gonna go towards being a pot roast and the other half is going to go towards something else. I forget what I was gonna do with it. Tacos maybe? I forget. Um, I also got a pack of chicken. I try not to show this stuff at length or too up close because I know that there are people out there who don't like that sort of stuff, so I understand. Trust me, I've been there. Again, I use reusable bags. I've gotten mine over the years, like very slowly built up my collection. You don't have to do it all at once. So let's see, I got a bunch of canned vegetables that'll go through quickly, um, wax beans, whole mushrooms, canned pears, peas, um, I got some pure vanilla extract, uh, baby corn. I got seven cans of Fancy Feast cat food for maple. I got a can of medium or a jar of medium salsa. And I also got a La Victoria um, enchilada sauce, the mild kind. So everything else in this bag are just duplicates of all of that stuff. Okay, so I got two green peppers, a head of broccoli, three tomatoes, two peppers, red peppers, some celery, that's going to be for the pot roast and as a snack. I got four big old carrots, again snack, um, as well as fried rice and pot roast. I got two super big onions. I got some pink lady apples. They were actually on sale and pink lady and honey crisp are our favorite. I got some red potatoes for the pot roast. I got a head of romaine lettuce. And I also, um, every time I go grocery shopping, I grab two packets of seeds. So these are super snappy peas and these are sweet pepper carnival. Black. Ty eats several eggs um, for in his breakfast burritos. Speaking of breakfast burritos, I got extra large tortillas for him. And I also get this bulk breakfast sausage. I don't particularly like it but he likes it and it's inexpensive um, and it's in cardboard packaging. So let's get into the snacky bits. So I got these um, six gelato, pistachio and chocolate coating mini bars for myself. And I also got these extras cookie dough dynamo bars for myself. Oh my goodness, everything is falling. Um, I got some milk. This is unsweetened vanilla. I like the So Fresh brand and I get almond. This is going to be, I got two of these for Ella's lunches. I have a reusable squeeze bag that I just funnel this into. And then she has 
um, yogurt. I also got some Fair Life. This is 3%. Um, I use this when I normally don't get this, but I use it when I make oatmeal in bulk for Thai because it has more calories than the almond milk and he is bulking currently. Um, this has 160 calories for 250 mils, so definitely a lot better than the 35 for 250 mils that I drink. So I'll use this in his milk and I also use it for macaroni and cheese, stuff like that. And I'll also probably wind up making like, I don't know, some sort of like Alfredo or something like that next week. And I also got a big bag of the Tex-Mex blend cheese. This is Monterey Jack. Um, mild cheddar and pizza mozzarella and the reason I get the big bag is because instead of getting two small bags that has more packaging than this I just get this bag that will last us for taco bowls and for enchiladas that I'll make next week and also Thai's breakfast burritos and the macaroni and cheese that we're gonna eat so that's gonna cover us for a while